Sharabutin Magomedov, also known as Sharabullet, has finally got his UFC debut booked. He'll be fighting Bruno Silva at UFC 294 in Abu Dhabi on October 21st of this year. Now, uh, it's an interesting fight. It's a fun fight. It seems like they're going to want to push him pretty quickly because he's getting Bruno Silva for his debut. And, you know, Silva's, like, highly ranked, like, outside the top 15. Has a win over Brad Tavares, fought Alex Pereira, fought uh, GM3. You know, he's got some pretty good wins. But I like uh, Shara Bullet here to get this one done. I think he'll KO Bruno Silva just because Bruno Silva's taken so much damage. After Alex Pereira fight, just, yeah, he, he took so much damage in that fight. Got dropped by GM3. Got dropped by Brendan Allen in his last fight. So his chin's not as good anymore, unfortunately. So I think Shara Bullet wins that. But I'm only, I didn't want to just talk about uh, the fight between him and Bruno Silva. I actually wanted to bring up a point that I was thinking about. That is Shara Bullet ever going to be able to fight in like the United States? Or is he going to be stuck in like fighting in like Abu Dhabi? Because how is this guy going to get cleared? Because... I know Bisping fought with one eye. He had to lie about it and everything. But how is uh, Shara Bullock going to pull that off? Because, you know, there's a bit of a difference between his eye and uh, Michael Bisping's eye. Uh, you know, you can sort of uh, you can sort of tell he can only see in one eye. <laughs> like his eye is literally a different colour, which normally... You know, it's a sign of blindness. So I'm, I don't know. Is this guy going to be able to get cleared to fight in any other country? Or is he going to be stuck fighting in the Middle East? And maybe, you know, some other places that will bypass, you know, fighter safety. Because, I don't know, it seems weird that, uh, like, I don't know. It explains why it took so long for him to make his debut. It's because literally couldn't debut because he doesn't have a functioning eye so you know he needed to fight somewhere where they can clear him but if he actually is like the as hyped as everybody says he is if he does go on to you know go and become like a championship level fighter the ufc i'm not going to ever be able to fight with him in vegas or like you know outside of uh you know the uae so what the fuck would his title like? He would literally have to fight. He'd have to, uh, you know, pull like an Islam Makachev. Makachev is always fighting over in Abu Dhabi. I know uh, Makachev came to Perth and fought Volkanovski, but he's literally is he? How's he going to build his career up? Like I'm, I'm. That's what I'm curious about. Like, how are you going to push Shara Bullet to get like to a title fight and everything? Because he can't just fight once a year, it's like that. That just can't happen. He can't just be fighting once a year to a title shot. I know Bruno Silva's like a decently ranked guy outside the rankings, but yeah, like how are you going to build this fella up if he can't, if he can only fight in the Middle East? Now, maybe they bring back Fight Island or something just specifically for Shara Bullet, or maybe they have him that, you know, they book him for a card in like, you know, they, they say he's going to, I'm doing the finger thing, you know, where you were. Uh, in quotations. So you put him on a card, like say in the apex or something, but then you actually have him fight in the Middle East. You know, you have him fucking fight in a completely different part, but you, you just add his fight to the card or something. I don't know. Cause I don't see how this, <laughs> I don't see how this guy's going to fucking have a career. If he can only fight in one specific location, like how are you going to get him to a title shot or a ranked fighter? And like, what if, the, what if the champion or something doesn't want to go to fucking Abu Dhabi or something like that? Like, how's this guy ever going to fucking get a title fight? Like, I don't know. I'm just... Maybe he, he loses his fight and we don't have to worry about this. But I just thought this was, like, something interesting to think about. Like, I don't know. Maybe I'm just, I'm just a chronic overthinker, I guess. But I'm just overthinking this, like... If he can't get cleared to fight there, what is he going to do? <laughs> Like, honestly, what's this guy got to do to uh, get to a title shot? I guess he's young. So maybe he's just going to fucking fight once a year for, like, fucking eight years and then he'll get his title shot in, like, eight years' time when he's, like, 36. Maybe that's what he does. But I don't know. Let me look at his 
record. Where's, I know he fought in Thailand his last fight. He fought a former flyweight, which was really interesting. He obviously KO'd him in eight seconds, as you do. You know, I'd be shocked if it <laughs> if he didn't KO him that quickly. So, Shara Bullet. Okay. Oh, it's not going to tell me. Not going to tell me where. Okay, so Russia. So I guess I guess you can fight on some Russian cards or something. Brazil. Okay, Brazil cleared him. Okay, so this is looking a lot better for him. Russia. I imagine this Russia as well. Yeah, Russia. Okay, so he's got a lot of fights. Okay, where was this fight against Blood Diamond? China. Okay, so he can get he got cleared in China, Brazil, Russia. Okay, so that's a little better, but I guess he just can't fight in the States. Okay, so I guess he can have a career. But, yeah, there's no way he'll ever get cleared in America with his one eye. Maybe in, like, Alabama or Wisconsin. Not Wisconsin. Uh, Wyoming, maybe. <laughs> if they ever want to go back to Wyoming. I don't think they've been there since, like, UFC 4 or something crazy like that. But, yeah, I don't know. I just thought this would be an interesting point to bring up. Maybe we'll see him in the States, but I don't know. I just thought it was interesting that, uh, yeah, they, they will probably never get a Shara Bullet in the States, which is interesting because if you've seen Shara Bullet, he's a bit of a controversial bloke. You know, he's with the street fighting and the, the AC, is it the ACC? Where he's ADCC. Whoops. Uh, yeah, yeah, if you've seen that clip of Shara Bullet, he, like, fucking got tapped and then just started, like, <laughs> kicking the guy who tried to leg lock him saying that he had a fight and, you know, you can't do that to me. But, you know, you were in a, you were literally in an ADCC fucking grappling match. So what do you, what do you mean? They don't ban leg locks, but yeah, I don't know. So, but I was going to say, it'd be interesting to see him in the States because I imagine because of his like whole backstory and how the US fans would probably treat him, especially if he was fighting an American. It'd be interesting to see how he would react. I feel like he he's literally like built like a super villain. I remember he put out a like post or tweet or something. He's like, the UFC need a new hero. Nah, bro, you're the fucking super villain and you need to embrace it. Uh, could you imagine him walking out just cold as ice, getting booed by like thousands of people? That'd be a cold ass moment. Like this guy is literally a super villain. <laughs> That's all I can talk, like describe this guy. But yeah, hopefully, you know, he's, he's the real deal because it'd be good to have some like fresh blood at middleweight. Uh, but yeah, thanks for listening. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll catch you next time.